it's clear that a high quality knowledge of consumer identifiers, the links between them, it's just critical to, you know, I would add to some of what Venkat said, it's critical to targeting, personalization, potentially even uh, you know, improving creative and the consumer experience overall, as well as measurement, attribution, analytics. It's, it's kind of insane how much of a foundation uh, is, is really served by an identity. And I think it's noteworthy and an important signal to all of us that so many companies are jumping on the bandwagon to solve identity in one way or another, whether they do it on their own, even if it's not part of their core business, or they build a large part of their business around it. So this, this is a, a really critical signal for us to understand the importance of identity uh, and, and the need to solve a problem here together. So with uh, that as context, we know it's a hard problem. I think you gave us a really good sense of you know, the numbers, the challenges of everything evolving, the, connect, you know, the number of connections. Uh, so I'd ask each of you, what do you see as the greatest single benefit of an effective identity solution? Maybe we'll start with Becky. Well, I think that if you, if you do have an effective uh, identity solution that um, is privacy respectful, uh, you have a much better way uh, to explain to consumers what's going on in the, in the space. Um, and that, uh, we know it's incredibly complex. It's very, the technology changes so fast that it's hard for consumers to keep up with it. And that is a particular challenge for being transparent. So um, one huge uh, value is a much clearer way to explain what's going on to consumers, um, which uh, in turn supports innovation because it uh, makes the urge to come in and regulate technology uh, much less compelling and um, uh, you know technology specific uh, regulation uh, almost always fails um, so I think it's both uh, you know it's better for consumers and it supports innovation in the space that's great thank God from my perspective it's simply just is the only way to solve the problems that are well articulated yesterday by Mark by Randall and others that's the only way to a better ecosystem and a better solution, and fixing the media supply chain that we call, that's the only way. That makes sense. Again, it's such a critical foundational element that, yeah, if we don't solve that, the rest of it doesn't happen. Yep. Yep, agreed. Uh, so, you, you, Venkat, you ended mentioning privacy in your presentation. And, uh, thor thorny issue, to be sure. Uh, and I'd, I'd be interested, uh, maybe a little bit more from Becky, on. What, what you believe consumers actually understand today about how their identity is used and, and the, you know, the benefits and maybe the, the creepiness factor, all of it, just what, what's the consumer perspective? So I, I think that consumers see the use of their information more. It's more transparent in the sense that, you know, you're not getting a catalog weeks after you uh, visit someplace, you're getting some kind of communication pretty quickly. Um, but I don't think that consumers actually understand what's going on and they don't understand uh, what the privacy risks are or um, what the privacy safeguards are. Mm -hmm. um, the FTC just came out with a report on cross-device tracking that uh, literally last week, and um, we can all wonder why this was the product of a uh, workshop that took place in November of 2015. So I haven't figured out why it took a year and four months to get the staff report out. But um, you know, one of the things they noted, note is that uh, technology is changing quickly and consumers don't understand or expect uh, certain things. They're surprised. And uh, sometimes uh, there's a creepiness factor that actually isn't justified because there's nothing creepy going on. And sometimes there's a lot of creepy stuff going mm -hmm. on. Um, but I think that the, the expectation that consumers will understand the technology um, uh, is uh, consumers will become uh, sort of inured to the technology, but they won't understand it. Yep. Um, and that's a problem. 